Is this thing on? Hello, and welcome to the Colorful Cleft Flute Studio's Spring Showcase Recital. My name is Dr. Stephanie Heckley, and I am here with a toucan on my head to kick off tonight's festivities. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Tonight is a celebration. We are celebrating each student's dedication, their hard work, their musicianship, their artistry, and ultimately the music that they've recorded for us this evening. Without a doubt, I can say that this has been the strangest and most unexpected year yet. Everything switching to being online instead of in person rattled us all. And even more so, the constant news of suffering across the world with the virus, and then also recently here in the US with racial tensions boiling over has taken an emotional toll. But despite of this, all of these students persisted. I am so incredibly proud of their hard work, the time they've spent practicing, and how well they've handled everything the last few months. Music really brings people together, just like it has done this evening. It's my hope that every student learns the joy of playing music, a passion that lives inside of so many of us for an entire lifetime. Finally, I'd like to take a moment to thank the parents. I am truly grateful for the opportunity to get to know your children and to work with them each week. They continue to amaze me with their drive to learn, their energy, and their sense of humor. Thank you so much for the time you invest supporting your children's practice at home, and thank you for trusting me with your child's music education. Our first performer this evening is Felicity. She might be the youngest in the studio, but don't underestimate her. Felicity is a whiz at her major scales, and she's got iron lungs for not yet being five foot tall. Tonight, Felicity will be performing La Donna Immobile by Rossini from the opera Rigoletto. My favorite thing about teaching Amber is the look on her face when her ability surprises herself in lessons. She's got a lot of natural skill, so I look forward to seeing how she's going to maximize that skill with practice this summer. Amber will be performing Allegretto from Menuetto in F by Haydn. Thank you. 
Our next performer is Sanjana. Sanjana is a joy to teach. She has a super cool work ethic and a really great ear. Sanjana will be performing the first two movements of Sonata in F Major by Telemann, which is a lovely piece from the Baroque era. In that time, musicians added their own ornaments and embellishments to the repeated material in music. Many of the embellishments you'll hear were written by Sanjana. Like many of us, Sanjana gets nervous when she performs, so if you enjoy her performance, which I'm sure you will, I hope you'll leave her an encouraging note in the chat box.
The next piece on the program is Chopin's Theme on a Variation by Rossini, performed by Maddie. Maddie is the sweetest student that I've ever had the pleasure to teach. She's grown so much this year and totally rocked this solo. This fun and challenging work by Chopin was based off of a theme written by Rossini. See if you can hear the main theme from the first movement disguised in the last two movements. Next up is Wanda performing a really lovely duet called Neapolitan Air. Wanda is an angel and she has been through a lot recently. Somebody close to her passed away recently and she drives dozens and dozens of miles each day to provide health care for people in their homes. Despite all of that, she still makes time to practice and she comes to lessons so we can play flute duets together. I admire Wanda so much. Let's give her a round of applause.
Next on the program is Elisa. Elisa is a real go-getter. She never misses an opportunity, and her extracurricular activities during the school year take up every single day of the week. Elisa will be performing Andante in C by Mozart, and as you'll see, she's the most talented M&M to ever play Mozart.
Our next performer is Sydney. I've only known Sydney for about nine months, but she's grown leaps and bounds as a musician since then. She started taking lessons when she decided she wanted to be a music major at NAU. So she's been working really hard on three very challenging pieces of music, which are just pages, pages and pages of music to learn. Sydney also graduated high school recently, so I hope you will help me congratulate her with some applause. Sydney will be performing Dance of the Goat, which is a really quirky and modern piece by a French composer named Honegger. Although this piece is about goats, we have to use our imagination to fill in the rest of the details. Next on the program is Becky. It's been a real pleasure to work with Becky over the last eight months. 
She picked up the flute again after a long time away, and now she performs with her husband Jeff, who is a pianist. Becky will be performing Morceau de Concours by Faure, which is actually a test piece written for the flute students at the Paris Conservatory. I think you'll find that Becky passes the test. The final student on the program is Lucy. Lucy is a wonderful student and a very talented flutist. I laugh all the time in lessons with Lucy because whenever she makes a mistake, she doesn't need me to point it out because she's already saying, wait, wait, let me try that again. She also just graduated from high school recently, so let's give her a round of applause. Lucy and her mom, Monica, will be performing Concerto in G Major by Stamets, the first movement.
The final piece on the program is Syrinx by WC. Although these recitals are all about celebrating the students and their successes, I try and perform one piece on every recital so the students and parents have the opportunity to see their teacher perform. Syrinx is a piece about the mythological creature named Pan, who is half man and half goat. He sees the beautiful nymph Syrinx, and he falls in love with her and chases her through the forest. She runs and runs, but he eventually does catch up to her, and when he reaches out and touches her, she turns into reeds, which Pan then cuts down and then turns into a pan flute. This is one of the most famous pieces you will hear on flute, so I hope you enjoy.
Thank you all so much for coming tonight. Let's give all the students a big enthusiastic round of applause. If you've got a few minutes to stick around, I would love to talk to you all, family, friends, grandparents, anybody who would like to stay and hang out and chat for a little bit, I think that would be great. Normally after a recital, we have the reception afterwards where we all get to talk, congratulate each other. So you're welcome to do this in the chat box. You'll see that on the right side of the screen. If you do have to run, thank you again so much for coming and have a wonderful evening.